Welcome to another episode of another one? Okay, we're done. Welcome to another episode of Sideline Bling. I once again, Mike Fuentes. Patrick Meehan. And now we're gonna start with a little bit of a messy situation. And nothing looks messier than that sweater. What were you thinking? I was thinking about the game, what's gonna happen, how they're gonna play, but then I saw a sweater and I thought this is bread. And yeah. it ended up being better than the game. You I think mean, not that the sweater is better, but there's just a lot going yeah, on. I was about to say, I think the only thing that probably looked worse than that sweater all day was Barcelona's play. You should definitely fire whoever decided to give you that. That's terrible. Picked it up at the flea market, just not the best. Sell it for a hundred thousand dollars. You probably, might see Warren sweater. Yeah, yeah, you probably could. That's the only good thing that's gonna come out of that sweater. So Diego Armando Maradona again in this show uh, is fighting with his daughters now because they want what he's gonna leave for them when he's gone. This all started with them actually kind of looking out for his health, mm -hmm. and then he fired back saying he's fine. And just to top it all off, everything I own, I'm gonna give it away. But that begs the question: What does he even have to give away? Well, when he spent a couple hours in Belarusia as a sporting president, they gave him a 300,000 uh, euro ring. Mm. They also gave him like a tank. Not only drive, but it can also navigate in water. Now I'm gonna have to go up and see what a tank that can navigate in the water is going for on eBay. But he also has a million houses in, in Argentina, in Mexico. And now the award for the laziest Halloween costume this year goes to Sierra and Russell Wilson as they posed basically in normal clothes, trying to replicate Jay-Z and Beyonce's album cover. Now, Russ, I gotta tell you, while you do look sharp in that suit, look like you're getting a little hefty around the neck area. Yeah, Russ was super awkward. Yeah. Sierra killed it. Yeah. Sorry. Killed it. Russ as, is just an awkward dude. As usually would be, despite him having an MVP-like season, should have picked a better picture. In more Halloween stuff that happened in the sports world, JJ Redick arrived as a Lego. Actually, I like this one, about five million Lego pieces more than I do Sierra and Russell's. I thought it looked fantastic. You could see out of it, it was the full length costume. You had the whole block going. And I guess if you're gonna spend your season playing for the New Orleans Pelicans, you have to have some fun while you're there. So you might as well dress as a Lego man. He should have played as a Lego, just as Halloween, just do it. I can just see the shooting threes with the cup hands. That would have been interesting. He's, good, yeah. he could pull, he's a great three point shooter. If he would have exactly. pulled that off, that would have been amazing. And now it's time for our favorite segment on this show, Fits, Kits, and Kicks. Extra pronunciation on the S, because I got yelled at for not doing it one time. <laughs> And we're gonna start with the Juventus Palace Adidas collaboration, which actually I find very appealing. Hmm. It looks like when you That know, does not seem like someone who found it very appealing. No. <laughs> it looks like when you were bored in class and had to draw something, you were just had a picture and you drew something with the highlighter. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Okay. The Juventus kid. Well, whoever that kid is, give him my money. I will give you the fistful of cash, because I would definitely buy it. I thought it was when I first Genius. saw it. I did it when no. I was kid. Give no. me that money. I, me. I thought this was like a mock-up, and then I saw them wearing it. Take my money, you can have it. I'm buying it, I'm buying it. I'm gonna get you one for Christmas. No. There you go. Thank you, no thank you. <laughs> Give me one of Maradona's houses better. <laughs> now a kit that I really, really like is Manchester United's China New Year's inspired uh, red jersey with the dragon. That is beautiful. Give me that one for Christmas. Now see the thing about this is, no you're getting the, Ju the Juventus one, that I already decided. The thing about this is such an obvious money grab. It's almost disgusting. A billion Chinese, I totally get why you're making it. But it's just so obvious. It hurts. It's so but, obvious. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, you know. If you had that club, you would do that same thing. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. But I like it. It's beautiful. As we continue on with this segment that's all about new sellable items, Argentina released their third kit, which looks nothing like any other thing they've ever had. Yeah, it's an alternate jersey for the Copa America 2020, and it's. It's. Mm. It has color. It's blue. blue color, yeah. I mean, it's blue. I did they like? Did they keep the Albi Celeste thing yeah, going? Yeah. I mean, you had to. It's tradition. But at the same time, this is just something. You put it up in the store. We're here to make money. Messi's name in the back. Easy. Always sells. That's it. Inter Milan pre-game warm-up in the Champions League against Borussia Dortmund was beautiful. I loved it. I love it too. The only problem is it looks just like Dortmund's actual outfit, and Inter must have thought they were still warming up when they blew a two-goal lead in Germany. Mm. Yeah, they ended up losing 3-2, but the jersey's great, and they're gonna sell a bunch of it. I'd buy it. To Borussia Dortmund fans, maybe. I'd buy it before I buy the Manchester United one, I'll tell you that. We'll have to rank them and decide on which one. Okay, like, well, I'll buy you for Christmas. Which okay, one you well, Christmas. you're already getting the, the Juventus Palace that you hated it so much. And James Harden's new Volume 4 is all on the shelves in North America, but the newest colorway is a little iffy. Honestly, it kind of looks like a bunch of melted candles. It looks like that La Liga ball, but in a shoe, has the same colorway, like Starburst shoe. I don't like it. Yeah, it's this thing though, it's kind of like lipstick on a pig, right? You can give any colorway you want, just the silhouette of the shoe is 
not my favorite. And I'm sorry, I'm on like a huge Adidas tip too. Like, like lately I've been buying stuff from them like crazy, but this one, it's gonna stay in the warehouse. What if we put a highlighter through it, like the Juventus kit, would you buy it? It can match my Juventus kit. You're so smart. Patrick, this guy. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be a great shoes. holiday season. <laughs> And that is it for this episode of Sideline Bling. Remember to comment below, send in your suggestions, and follow us at Beansports USA. My name is Patrick Meehan. And I'm Mike Fuentes. Goodbye.